Okay, so as I was saying just now, this is the V6 we're talking about, and then uh, 58 ml, 5 ml roller bottles, which is these two tall bottles, and then you have 2 ml small bottles. This already, and plus the essential oils, right, 10 of them is already, oh, and a little funnel, if you haven't realized, there is a little funnel uh, given to you free of charge as well. Um, this has this is already designed right to kickstart your DIY journey. Okay, this kit. I'm gonna spend a bit of time to introduce uh, V6 because a lot of people uh, ask like, hey, what's the difference between V6 and other normal car other carrier oils in the market? Why do I need to buy V6? So I thought that actually we need to pay a bit of attention to V6 as well. This V6 bottle is two hundred thirty six ml, uh, eight ounces. Uh, it is what you get normally when you buy uh, from now catalog okay so this is the normal one and the one in the kit is much smaller it's 58 ml okay so it is made up of uh six seven seven oils okay so i'm going to pause because Xiaohui is going to share something Xiaohui is going to share the difference in sizes and then if you if you use v6 extensively Xiaohui, would you like to show the third bottle size? If you use V6 extensively, <laughs> this is the, yeah, the big, the giant, okay? The baby, the adult, and the giant. The, how big is the giant? Almost a litre, is it? Uh, yeah, 944. Yeah, 900. Yeah, 900. I remember it was almost a litre. Yeah, so these are the three uh, sizes. So you can't buy the first one because that's the only one that comes with the kit. Yeah, the small one. So the, the one that we most of the markets have is uh, the middle one. And then the last one, as far as I know, maybe I think Hong Kong has it. I'm not sure. Thai, Hong Kong, eh, Thai, Taiwan, no. I can't remember, but I think Hong Kong has it. I know but, Hong Kong has it. And definitely yeah. US has it as well. Yeah, that, I bought this from US. Mm. So uh, if you use V6 extensively, it's something you may want to consider. But otherwise, uh, you the middle one is good enough. Lah. Okay, good enough. Uh, usually, um, people use a lot of V6 because they use it for uh, those with uh, family members with sensitive skin. Most of them are, uh, are babies, toddlers, children, uh, or elderly, as well as um, adults with skin issues. So we rely a lot on V6 when we use essential oils. Thanks, Xiaohui. Yeah, like me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have very sensitive skin. Everything yeah. is so dirty. <laughs> Yeah, very sensitive skin. So um, these are the ingredients inside. That's why I find personally when you pay for this uh, V6, you're actually getting a lot of things and it's suitable for all skin type. And if you already use our V6 before compared to the other uh, carrier oils out in the market, our V6 oil for whatever reason, uh, maybe because of how they mix it together, it gets absorbed in the skin much faster. Versus, let's say, if you use fractionated coconut oil, or even sesame oil, or even sweet almond oil, all these tend to be a bit more uh, heavier on the skin. Yeah. Uh, but V6, for whatever reason, uh, enters into the skin uh, pretty fast. Of course, you still, compared to essential oils, the oil molecules are bigger. That's why it is used for dilution. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, the color is not very clear. Uh, but can we have the have the do I have it now? Oh, I, I kept it ready. I was packing and I kept it. So this is the called the aroma glide. Okay, Xiaohui has the actual yeah. size, the actual I should use quite a bit. I think there are 25 inside, right? No, right. just 10. 50. Or 10? Wow, it's 10. a huge pack. Yeah. Because each each of them has a roller ball, the mm. head, as well as a cap. Because the moment you change your uh roller bottle into yeah. like the normal one into you can't you can't use the white one. Yeah, you cannot no longer use that because it's longer, it's taller. So um yeah, so this is how it looks like. Yeah. So actually all my most of my kid sense oil I have the roller head. That's why I like I just might as well buy the roller set. It's easier to use. So I'm gonna uh, so today's class we're also introducing um some of the ingredients and tools, right, that you can use. Um, in your DIY and if you don't have some of the products you can um, I mean, these are some of the options ah. so why do I introduce this to you right is because this uh, aroma glide 
head or called Roman pigment. Um, it is customized to fit Young Living bottle, 5 or 15 ml, as well as our roller bottle, the 10 ml roller bottle. Eh, 10 ml. No, no, yes. no, no, no. It's different size. Huh? Different? Different. 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 A bit different. Yes, sorry. Different. Huh? Different. different. Okay, Xiao Hui is showing you guys. This is the which one is the taller. roller bottle? Ah, the taller one is the taller. Yeah, See? different size. One is taller and one is wider. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But it's uh it's the same design, just that same design. Yeah, I forgot because um uh, it slipped my mind. Uh it has to be you must look at the our oil bottle, right? Below you must see the word SB. It's a very small engraving. Okay. The it, one on, it, yeah, on top the water <laughs> Yeah, very small one, not the middle one. Okay, uh, look for the one at the near the rim. That but some bottles have the middle, uh, like this is one. It? But basically, all the bottles have has it like somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Just look at the base of the bottom. Even the super so, old one, old label one, also. Have. Yeah. So SB, uh, young living bottle. Uh, those that have SB marking. So the this roller bottle that I was saying just now. Pardon my mistake. This one doesn't have the SB, so you can't use the aroma glide. Okay, this is called the aroma glide pigment. So one pack includes 10 uh, pigments and caps. So this is the pigment, this is the cap. Okay, so uh, that's why I introduced that to you is also because this is how you can reuse your YL bottle. Uh, even if you buy the roller bottle from, uh, roller oils from Young Living, you can reuse them. Okay, once you empty or once you finish uh, using the bottle, you can reuse them. Okay, Xiao Hui and I are going to show you how we open. I, oh, what do I, you already, have? I already successfully opened. Mine is peace and calming. What do you have? Uh, mine is tranquil. I have oh. I use a lot of tranquil at home. I use a lot of peace and calming recently. So it's it's actually not that easy. You need to practice it a bit. Um, uh, but you can just twist. Oh, it's very hard. It's a okay, bit mine is very hard. Really. Yeah, it's it's quite hard. Than, this is harder than the the, the aroma like right. roller pigment. Actually, this is much easier. You want to show the aroma but, like aroma pigment? Yeah, but if you want to remove the this one, you may need actually some a bit more strength and also or, some... or use a plier. Use a plier to do that. So this one you see, uh, if because you see it a lot easier. I do one time already release. Let's pull out. Yeah. Okay. So you can see because this is a bit more thin, mm. a bit more thick. The yeah, but I also realized because and if you're reusing this, right, I think by the third time, right, it's Korea already. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it can get very loose. Yeah. yeah. So just to let you guys know, do have some options on what to do. Okay, so uh, some people like crystal, so you can get crystal roller and put it on the tip as well. But um, there are a lot of things that are sold out, uh, they are sold in the market, but... I don't think the quality is as good. I haven't found a really good quality one that can really fit to our wire bottle. Okay. Uh, there are of, of course other nice pretty bottles that you can buy on online. There are people who uh, make and sell them. Uh, or you can just get uh, the traditional one. I would say the traditional uh, roller bottle like just like that. Uh, do get the... There are some roller balls that are plastics. I actually don't encourage you guys to use those with plastic. Get those with um the metal. Metal, okay, metal. or that's also another type, it, which is glass. Ah, glass also, but glass. I, but I the glass it. one, yes, yes, I I I use it before. Ah. I have, but the thing, the only thing is that you need to ask the supplier or you get from the, uh, goods sources lah, because mm. the plastic one and the glass one look similar from, ah, from, yeah. from photos. Yes, so for the photos, it look the same, but it's actually different when you receive it and you, you touch on it, it's different. So, uh, but I still, so, uh, but it's, uh, it's a lot easier to find the, the one with metal balls. Yeah, so yeah. just make sure it's metal balls. Uh, and also, uh, if you have not bought from suppliers or you bought online from the seller before, uh, I can tell you some mistake that we have done is that some of the roller ball, balls, right, they don't go very well. <laughs> Yeah, so that's why for me personally, I went back a lot of to the Young Living Aroma uh, Figment because those really glide very well. Okay, so just give you guys some tips. 
Okay, uh, this is what a lot of people like to ask in terms of dilution. Dilution means how many drops of essential oils do we put in uh, and then how much do we put in V6? Mm, I think use this as a guide. If you are very new, you're a beginner, maybe just start off with like 5%, okay? So the, the, uh, the one in your kit, okay, is 5 mil. Um, those you can buy external outside is 10 mil. And then if you're reusing your bottle, it is 15 mil. Okay, so you just adjust accordingly. Uh, quick one is that, yeah, elderly and babies. Remember, I just talked about elderly and babies. That means uh, zero to, to one years old. You may start off really slow uh, with just one, two drops with V6. If you're very new to essential oils, like never touched before and you're very cautious. You can start off with like one, two drops of V6. Oh, no, sorry. One, two drops of essential oils and then top up all the way uh, to no, and leave a bit of gap, lah, a bit of air gap so that the oils can flow. Uh, top it up with V6, okay? So one, two drops of essential oils. If you are comfortable with that and you apply and feel like, eh, not much benefit, lah, huh? then you may want to add on more essential oils. Uh, to be honest, actually, uh, because I've, tr I've raised three children, I use a lot of uh, baby's product, right? Uh, if you're familiar with the tummy oil, uh, what we call the yui, yui yu, um, that a lot of moms use for the kid to rub on the tummy, or uh, or in in some, uh, like some uh, Malay or the Indian, they use other form of minyak, right? Actually, if you look at the ingredient, they are all like petrochemical ingredients, and actually they are very strong smelling. <laughs> I find that those oils are stronger than our, our DIY recommendation. Like, even if I do two or three drops of, let's say, digest that's good for the tummy, right? Um, and I compare with a Rui Yu, right? <laughs> you compare that to, right? Rui Yu is really much stronger and, and much more um, pungent, okay, compared to our oil. So, com uh, go with your comfort flow. For me, I always, because I'm really very comfortable in using oils, I always go with, like, like the yellow, the orange and the red <laughs> number of oils, okay? Essential oils into the drops. Uh, these are the these are the oil guides. So for example, if it's they put 10, if you like to mix and match your essential oils, you can do like uh, two essential oils, five drops each. Okay. Or if you want, you can put like four essential oils, then maybe two two drops each, and then then eh, two drops is eight. Yeah, then maybe five essential oils and then two drops each, that kind of thing. So this is just a guide. Um, I'm going to share with you some recipes later so that I'm, I'm going to teach how to play around with the recipes. Ah, so this one I suggest for, for um, actually it's for up to age 2, sorry, I typed wrongly. Up to age 2 and elderly. Um, because if you're very cautious uh, for babies, you may just start out with 1, 2 drops, okay? Newborn, uh, maybe 0 to 12 months, you may start with 1, 2 drops. But I feel that at about age two or like if you have sensitive skin, this is a very simple and very basic and very, very safe recipe that you can use. If you want, you can screenshot this. I personally, this is these are the concoctions that I, number of drops I personally don't use. So when I do breathe better, I probably put 10 drops of RC and 10 drops of frankincense so that I can feel better. Okay. Uh, allergies, sniffle. So some people are, sensitive to um, maybe flower pollen during the flowering season or when there are a bit more dust in the air, oops, uh, then you can use this um, recipe. So again, what, how you can do is, this is the most basic version. Um, as an adult and you're comfortable with our oils ready, you may go all the way up to 555. Or even for me, for example, 15, 15, 15. Okay, and then I top up the rest with B6. Okay, uh, digestive plus. So, um, those of you who attended our class on the uh, premium experience oil kit, right? Digest, uh, digest is a very good oil for digestive health. If you are stuck in the stomach or your stomach is running too much, okay, you are running to the toilet a bit too much. The, the digestive star, uh, plus is because you add in peppermint, which is much more minty and a bit more, uh, uh, how to say, cooling sensation. Okay, and it will relax your muscles, especially when you are having a lot of cramps and there's a lot of tightness in your abdominal area. You add in peppermint to help you to relax the muscles. Okay, so immune boost, uh, yeah. 
I am going to start. I'm going to show you. Okay, those of you, just very quick demo in case you don't know how to put in your oils. Where it is. So uh, just grab any oil bottle. Okay, this one is a gift that was given to me. Uh, just grab any oil bottle and if you want to do DIY, yeah, and open. I know there are stuff inside already, but I just want to do a quick demo. Hang on. Ah. Okay. So um, for me, la, I always start off with, because for me, it's always top up with V6. I don't measure the amount of V6 because um, every waste container is a bit different. Some 5, some 15, some 10 ml. So uh, if you can get a small funnel, this one, Okay, um, I don't really like that it's plastic, but this plastic is the hard plastic. There are some plastics I've come across that is the very thin one. So after a few drips of uh, essential oils, right, then it become like the oils will eat into the plastic. So this one, I've not tried it. This is with the kit, uh, but so far it looks quite sturdy. Okay, uh, if you can go and look for small metal funnel. Okay, small metal funnel or small, uh, they, they usually have as well. So what you need to do is just to put the, a funnel into your roller bottle and then take your oils follow the recipe drip it in okay when you're done uh just remove uh just uh then top it up with v6 and then like if my bottle is this high i don't put it until on the top okay i put it until about here leave about a maybe a half a cm gap about 5 mm gap or three yeah 5 mm gap will be good okay so that um you when you close your when you close your bottle hang on. Okay, when you close your bottle and you mix, okay, you can you can mix by rolling between your palms, okay. And then um there is space for, for the for the oil bottle to move around. Um some people like to do it the day before they use it, at least um one day before, because uh when you let the oil and the mixture with the V6 sit for a while, it tends to like gel together better okay so this is just a quick tip for you guys when you make roller bottles any question please type in the chat okay ah, also the thing is that uh all these just to give you guys a tip because our oils are so versatile right you can actually put them into your diffuser as well okay all this is very very basic um uh how to say very safe um to be used in the diffuser like two teas, one lemon, two frankincense. It doesn't overpower you because um, this is only like five drops in the diffuser. Well, this is only six drops in the diffuser. Okay, so this, uh, um, this recipe, you can also put in a diffuser. If you see on, come across online that you are playing around with some of the uh, diffuser recipe and you really like them, actually you can use that recipe for diffuser, right? And then do it into ro roller bottle as well. So use the same amount of essential oils and then top it out with V6. Okay, so that's the tip for you guys today. Okay, next one we're going to demo is hair, face, and room mist. Uh, why I call hair, face, and room mist is because you can spray on your hair, you can spray on your face, you can uh, use it uh, to mist around your room, uh, your pillows, um, basically, wherever you want. Okay, but this one, let me see. Uh, so this is the bottle that we... We, oh, before that, I remember Xiao Hui shared this last week. Okay, if you are doing a roller bottle, please get a sticker, a label. Okay, it can be a sticker, a label. And if you have nothing at home, when, the, when I first started doing DIY, I realized I have nothing at home. Masking tape. <laughs> Just to label something before you go to the bookstore to get it. Because we have done a lot of DIY. Even for me, I've done a lot of DIY. Even if I reuse... Um, the bottle and it is a different concoction. Please label over it. Don't think that I'll, I'll remember what it is because when you take up, let's say this is labeled peace and coming and then actually you have put in a, a spicy oil inside, right? Then you realize that, okay, it's not peace and coming at all and I don't feel calm, okay? So um, get a label to um, write down, uh, like what I would like to always suggest is to write down the date that you made it Okay, and then also uh, either write the recipe down, 
uh, or you just write the name, like for example, digestion. So that at least when you look at the label, you know, oh, it's to apply for the tummy, not for like, let's say the face, okay, for example. So that's very important as well. Uh, some people like to ask um, how long to keep it. Uh, we actually always suggest that if you want to, you DIY when you want to use the roller bottle, don't DIY to keep them. Because uh, once you DIY the, the items, right, we mix around because and we, we are not mixing it in lead, okay? So for example, Young Living, if you buy Young Living one, that's why I, I really, really like to buy Young Living roller bottles. Let's see, uh, where is my... Okay. So like for example, Deep Relief. Okay, this is our... This, oh, sorry. <laughs> this is the packaging. This is the packaging. Then of course, inside is the oil, but uh, labeled Deep Relief, right? So they are deep relief and um, our DIY deep relief is very different because um, at least, you know, it's packaged in a sterile environment uh, away um, from contamination. But when we DIY at home, our environment is not sterile. Okay, so definitely um, there will be some sort of contamination. Uh, once we do a DIY roller bottle, I usually finish it within one month. Xiaohui, yours? Do you finish it within one month? My roller blend? Yeah, uh. No. No. Oh, but, it? but but usually I make those that are like for about three to six months. Uh. That's my guidelines. Three to six mm. yeah. Okay. So you guys can use that because for me I use it within like four to six weeks. I'll I'll finish using them. Mm. Yeah. So I, I, I don't really like to keep roller broker because I have kept I mean, I, I, I have bad memories. I sometimes forget that they are there and then sometimes I open up like, oh, it has gone rancid. Yeah, it has gone very bad smell because um, yeah, of all the contamination. Okay, so just to let you guys know that if you're doing roller bottle, write the date down so that sometimes you look at it, it's like, <gasps> it's like December of 2021. Okay, la, still can. Maybe, depending on your comfort level. La. But sometimes you put, if you put like say, 7 February, you don't know whether it's December uh, the 7th February this year or 7th February last year or 7th February 2020. So that's why we suggest for you to write the date that you make the DIY. Okay? Okay, next one is the... Ah, we're talking about mist. Okay, so mist-wise, uh, you can get preferably... Okay, this glass bottle i mean up to you whether you want to get clear glass or you want to get uh this kind of tainted glass bottle so i have with me in my hands a tainted glass bottle i bought quite a bit uh, previously so i use all the tainted glass bottle uh in a way um and when it's kept away from sunlight right uh, it doesn't go bad that fast okay so uh because we use uh liquid over here the Mist, you can't keep as long as, let's say, the roller bottle. Okay, roller bottle, because we use V6, a bit more stable. So, mist-wise, we really suggest that you don't keep for too long. Okay? Uh, and then, don't get those big, gigantic bottle, like, like 300 ml bottle <laughs> to mist. Because that is a bit too much like, for hair, face, and room. Okay? If you want to do room mist, I suggest you just uh, do, like, diffuser. You just keep your diffuser running. A uh, room mist is usually very good for um in the toilets, okay? Or uh, especially those big business in the toilets. I always have a toilet spray, a toilet mist in the toilet so that my husband also automatically know how to spray. Even my kids know that when they go to my uh, five and a half years old, uh, when he goes to the toilet to do his uh, poo poo, he will say, I want I I he'll reach out for the for the toilet spray and then spray the but he will spray a lot like, until the whole place. He just like to infuse the whole place with like yeah, aroma. Okay. But usually when we do the room, uh, the toilet spray, about one or two pump or three pump maximum is good enough because our oils are really very good. Um, the smell does linger in the room and clears the odor very fast. Okay. So when it comes to the mist, you want to have two ingredients. One is distilled water. Doesn't matter what brand. This is just something I grabbed off online. Uh, you just need to see what is available in your nearest provision or supermarket. And then um, get a witch hazel. 
that is unscented and alcohol free. Uh, in Singapore, I think Tayers is quite common. But there are some people who go, if you go, let's say, pharmacy and they sell rich hazel as well, a lot of them are not for facial toner or a lot of them are tainted with colouring. I know uh, in Singapore, Guardian Pharmacy, that is a blue colour um, bottle of uh, witch hazel and it's usually used for, uh, I think, cleaning purposes, astringent purposes. So my suggestion is that uh, whatever brand it is, I mean, I use Taya because it's just convenient and I can get it online easily. Um, and it is an uh, old brand. Okay, uh, I use this. Yeah, you can see that it, it's a bit of yellowish color, yellowish tint. Of course, this is a bit old. Lah, okay, this bottle is a bit old, probably a year already. Yeah, probably a year already. So it will have a bit of yellowish color, but um, otherwise it's fine. Yeah, okay, otherwise it's fine. Okay, get this um, and get an alcohol free one because uh, some of you may have sensitive skin and if you spray on your face, right? Um, alcohol one will eat into your face, like uh, spicy feeling. Okay, so get an alcohol free one. I know Xiao Hui buys from her some DIY craft shop or organic yeah, craft shop. Yeah, it's called Craftivity. Craftivity with I at the end. Yeah, so de depends on where you guys stay and what's available in the market. Okay, yeah, I hope have also. Uh, I hope, yeah, actually, if you buy her, sell this. Hope, yeah, I, I hope uh, maybe have a couple of choices also. So, can just, yeah, look just go and look around. But I think yeah. important is to get um, not the one with fragrances or those <laughs> alcohol. The unscented. Mm, and, and then alcohol free, la, if you are spraying on your face, especially. Okay, so a uh, quick one to show you guys how to do this. Very easy, okay. Uh, it also depends on what recipes you want to use. So, let me see. Okay. So, I'm going to do a quick demonstration. Just a very simple one, okay. Uh, for facial mist, 3 lavender, 3 frankincense. Okay. But because you're in my class, I will give you a new tip so that next time you'll know when Singapore launched something, you're better fast hand fast licks or Malaysia launched something fast hand fast licks. Are you aware of this that was launched in the Singapore December holiday but catalog? It's in a few, like two hours. Yeah, because a lot of people don't know and those people who know grab very fast. This is actually very expensive to, uh, this they sell in the US. So those of you who are following some of the diamond leaders in the uh, Facebook or Instagram, they are all in Hawaii, our Hawaiian, Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood Farm right now. So this is the hydrosol. Hydrosol, it is the, it is the water that is, um, so after you distill the plants, um, the oil will come out together with the water. So oil will be on top because oil floats on top of water. And this is the water that's below the oil. So these are what we call the hydrosol. Okay, Royal Hawaiians, and they will go and Google on the benefits, but um, it's really very good. So if you can, go and grab this kind. And someone, you see, it comes in glass bottle. Uh, and if you have the privilege to go to our Young Living Farms, at our farms, they sell floral water, essential water like this as well. Okay, uh, and I don't know whether they bring to Singapore or Malaysia. If they do, um, also grab them. Lah. Okay, so this is uh, floral water or essential water. This is the hydrosol. It's actually the same thing. Okay, uh, the byproduct of uh, distilling our oils. So you can use this to DIY as well. Okay, I am going to do a quick one. So let's see, I'm going to put this. Again, you can use your funnel, but I lazy to use funnel. I will just pour a bit just for demo purposes. Okay. You can pour however big you want. If you are doing for a uh, facial mist, you pour about the same uh, as, as per. You can put the oils in first. Sorry, I forgot. I should put the oils in first. As you can see. But not much difference for spray. Because yeah. every, every time you need to shake. <laughs> yeah, every time you need to shake anyway. But that's why I say when I do DIY, I'm not very professional, like step by step. Okay, so please bear with me. This is what I do on a daily basis. I If I got oil in front of me, it's I drink oil. oil. <laughs> if, I got, if I got the water in front of me, I put water. Okay, so if you guys don't have any right now, you can just use distilled water. But out of distilled water or witch hazel, I prefer witch hazel. Huh? Prefer witch yeah. hazel. I, I, I right now I, I for, for facial one I use rose water. <clears throat> ah, and this is also a 
uh, I, I don't know how to get uh, it's a floral water like, but I don't know how to get this because it's a gift from, from a friend yeah like, so but I mean, we also don't know the type market. we also don't know the type of rose they use uh, but if Young Living have the rose facial water you please go and grab also okay because people I have been only, to the rose farm yes. huh? only yeah. if when you wait 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 Oh, she has a call coming in, but never mind. So uh, just now I was doing the, the sharing the recipe with you guys. It's three lavender and three frankincense. Um, those are good for the skin. Hang on. Uh. Where's my... Oh, I can't see my screen. Oh, okay. So three drops. Okay. Frankincense flow out very fast. This is not... Uh, it's a... It's, just watch your drop. Some oils are more viscous. Viscous means they flow faster. Some oils don't flow as fast. Um, and if you have other oils that are good for skin, I'm going to add in a drop of Ylang Ylang. But if you are a beginner, you can just use frankincense and, um, and lavender for face is good enough. Where is it? Where's my Ylang? One drop. Okay. So what you need to do is... Let me put a bit of more facial toner. Also can, doesn't matter. Then you, for face mist, huh? So those of you who work in uh, aircon environment, okay, a lot of you are going back to office when aircon environment, it's uh, very dry. Those of you who are going to travel, taking an aeroplane, get a small bottle because you can't exceed 100 ml when you bring on board. Okay, you can get a small uh, bottle, smaller bottle, maybe 50 ml also can do the same DIY and then like now and then it's like getting very like dry on your skin. Then you just spray. Very nice. So it also, um, then you just pat. You just pat. Very simple. Then um, your skin will be kept hydrated throughout. Okay, so we do this for... Um, for face mist, hair mist, as well as um, toilet spray, toilet mist. So this is also very good for those of you who uh, in Singapore eat in hawker centers, right? And being girls, right? Then your hair will smell of all the oil or all the, all the hawker food. Lah, huh? the, the, that smells nice in the hawker center, but doesn't smell nice when you get home or when you are in the office, okay? It smells like... It smells like expired oil or something. I don't know. It's very bad smell. The, after that, the, very, the smell is very bad. So um, we have also done uh, lunchtime classes in Singapore offices and teach them to make um, hair mist. So just go back to the to the cubi uh, cubicle and then start spraying. Yeah, start spraying and then we can start rubbing it in. Okay, okay. So this is just uh, for you to uh, spray on your face, um, your scalp and... For you to smell better also. So the 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 concoction I did just now, yes, even though it's for, for hair, but I can also spray on my scalp and it's um, good for my hair as well. Okay, so this is a quick one for those of you who only have the kit, three lavender and three frankincense for the facial mist. Because facial mist is usually a very small bottle, 50 ml to 100 ml. So uh, I think three drops is good enough. It's, if it's the scent is not strong enough for you or you feel that you're not that hydrated, then you can increase the drops to like five, five, okay? Okay, this is the last demo that I'm going to do tonight. It is, oh, I'm we're just on time. It's very good. This is really very good. The buff and shower gel base, okay? Xiao Hui and I love it. Uh, one of our members, uh, Eileen from JB, was the one who fell in love with it first. And then actually I'm like, why will anybody go and buy a uh, gosong bath and shower gel? Okay, like so waste money. Myself go and buy something that has already the 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 uh, essential oils infused in it. But I was very wrong because um we can actually bath and shower gel is a very good way to introduce uh, oil into your body as well. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the demo later. I think last two week somebody Hua Hua is also online, right? Yeah. Hua Hua was saying that when you DIY your own bath and shower gel, you can leave it on your body and go and wash your face so that let the oil sit into your body and go into through your skin. So you don't waste your oil. Don't just wash, wash, wash already and then just uh rinse it off. So you can do other things or put 
some conditioner on your hair uh, before you wash everything off. Okay. So you can get the uh uh what is this a foaming pump soap container. Okay. Uh, if you don't have uh Singapore Malaysia, we have the Thieves hand foaming soap, right? You can use that bottle once you finish the content inside. You can keep the bottle and you use it. Um, or else try to find it online. Uh, or Daiso also has a pump bottle, but theirs is round. Currently. I know the past two months I've been going to different Daiso to look for it, but they there's out of stock. So you guys uh can try your luck at Daiso. But I find that Daiso the heat pump is a bit stiffer. So again, this is all due to a different product or different packaging. So you guys see what you are, but it's good enough for me as well. Like. Okay, so how do we do the uh, body gel okay uh, the body gel for I was sharing last week also that um, this is very good for let's say husbands or spouse who don't like or your partner especially men they don't like to use essential oils like rolling on their skin and things like that so what you can do is that uh, like for example for me like, when my, I see that my husband is a bit cranky I will diffuse oils that will support his hormonal health and also his uh, bath gel I will add in oils that will support support the male hormones. So uh, this is off topic because um, we are focusing a lot on the premium experience kit oils today, but just to let you guys know some of the oils that can support men hormonal health and the oils that they will also use uh, is like Idaho Blue Spruce, uh, Sutra, Mister, yeah, Frankincense. Okay, you can use all this in the bath and shower gel for them and uh, mix it for them. So, this is based on Charlene's aggravation. So, you can, you have to open, it's a sealed bottle, okay? So, you need to open the bottle and then, so, you just, Depending on how much you are making now. So I'm gonna do a small batch. Because actually I just did one uh over the weekend. Because I was having my husband, can you wait until Monday so that I can do that one? He said I really cannot already. <laughs> so I did a small batch for him. And then uh so this is just for demo purpose. I'm just gonna do a small, small amount. Um uh, I what did, what was my sharing just now? Let me see my recipe. Ah Breathe better body wash, okay? Breathe better so that when you shower at the same time, right? Uh, you can also breathe better, okay? Uh, three drop peppermint. Some people don't like the minty sensation. You can replace it with, with lavender, okay? Uh, if you like it a bit more, with, uh, if you like refreshing, put peppermint. If you don't like the refreshing feeling, then don't put peppermint. Put lavender or you can put frankincense, okay? Or even valor. But for me, I am going to keep it refreshing. So all this uh, peppermint, lemon, RC is pretty much refreshing. So my, my oils. Where's my oils? Lavender, I have lemon. Okay. My oils are. So I thought about peppermint. Hang on. Ah, let me show you. Sorry. How about peppermint, right? So like for peppermint, then you just add three drops. One, two, three. Okay. Then RC. One, two, three. My lemon. Lemon, this is from the kit. Do I still have lemon? It's a bit hard to come out. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'll just put another oil in. Okay, so the oil is added inside. It's um, can you see the oil? It's like laying on top of the 
Can you see? I'm not sure whether you can see. It's like but, running around on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like running around on top because they're not gelled in together. But it doesn't matter. Then get uh, distilled water. This, this filtered water, so I am not going to add too much in case yeah, spoils or what. So about that amount of gel just now, I put about one third. I filled up to about one third height. I mean, that's the amount of foam I like now. Okay. Can you see the gel is at the bottom? This color. Can right? So you can see, right? Mm. Yeah. Then after that, the amount of water. Um, if you want it a bit more diluted, it's fine as well. But I usually I think this is good enough for me. Okay. If you want more uh, for me, of course, just put more buff and buff and uh, body gel. And then you just very simple. Okay, you just shake. Okay, so I mean the foam inside is very normal. Uh, when you want to use, you just uh, see it's a very thick, nice foam. Even though I looks like I put very little just now, right? But it's a very thick, nice foam. See? Yeah. Nice, huh? See, even though I just put very little, then the water is about it's, one third. Yeah, it's about, I think you need a, maybe just about, I usually just put about 20% water, uh, the gel, and then the rest is water. Yeah, you can smell the oil very well. Mm. Do you do that like, like about 20%? Sometimes yeah. maybe not even 20 la, like I just agar put a bit. Agar la, la, agar. Okay, we don't have... I fill it up, no, like put a bit, then fill it up with all water already. So yeah. um, you start off slow, you start off with maybe the amount I show you guys just now, let me fill the water to about one third, and then when you pump, you find that it's a bit too, too diluted for you guys, then maybe you want to put more... more of the gel, okay? Yeah, depending on how thick you want. Because some people are used to the commercial and there's like very thick and a very foamy kind. Um, then you can use that, yeah. But if like for me, this is good enough for me, then yeah, that's good. Because sometimes my husband say, hey, I rub rub already, the foam doesn't stay. Then I put in more lah. Okay, so it's he also have come to terms that um, it's a hit and miss thing when I do DIY <laughs> for him. Because I don't know what his preference. He never tell me what. Yeah, but for me, I know how the other guy adjust for myself. So I have one uh, for myself and one for him. So this time I'll use it for myself because I did one for him already. Okay. Then let me see what do I have next. I think that's about it for today's presentation, uh, which is the three demonstration that we promised to show you guys today.